What's up guys, Joey here from Ugotech and hey, look what we have here. It's the Huawei P30, still sealed in its box. So the spotlight might be on the P30 Pro, but don't underestimate this one just yet. In fact, it's many of the best features found in the Pro version. And yes, this did just launch today, so let's check it out. So lifting up the lid of the box. There we go. On top, we have the phone itself. All right. Let's remove the plastic. There we have it. So this is the classic Huawei Aurora color. Let's put this aside for now. Underneath the tray for the phone, we have a smaller box that contains our clear case. There we go. SIM ejector tool, and if this was a retail unit, your manuals and warranty would also be in this little box right here. So we have our 40 watt supercharge charger, USB type C cable that will allow supercharge, and we have a pair of earphones. The P30, unlike the P30 Pro, has a headphone jack. So in the P30 Pro's box, you might have headphones with a Type-C cable. The P30 is a little smaller than the P30 Pro, but they kind of look alike. The way you would distinguish them is by feel, since the P30 has a flat screen and back opposed to the Pro's curved design. Now, one of the cut-down specs to take note of is that the IP rating is dropped from IP68 for the P30 Pro to IP53 for the P30, so indeed it is also less durable. The unit we have here is in the Aurora color which looks even better than before with new hues and a more metallic look. It's also available in other colors, Amber Sunrise, Classic Black, Pearl White, and my personal favorite Breathing Crystal. But of course, availability will all vary depending on your region. Taking a look at that screen, you get a 6.1-inch OLED display with a 2340x1080 resolution. Plus, compared to last year's P20, the P30 has a dewdrop notch for the front camera instead of a bar-type notch. Display quality is amazing. Since it can get really bright if you want it to, colors are really punchy and true to life, and since this is a full-on OLED screen, blacks are really deep. Also, you might have noticed that at the back, we don't get a fingerprint scanner, which is because the P30 has inherited one of the Mate 20 Pro's features, which is an improved in-display fingerprint scanner. Let's try it out real quick. Just like so. It still uses an optical sensor like before, not like a Samsung's ultrasonic in-display fingerprint scanner. So it's... It's okay, it's like the Mate 20 Pros. It's definitely faster than older generation in display fingerprint scanners. I, I think it's pretty okay. So looking at the rest of the body, on the left side we have a double-sided card tray which is a hybrid setup for either two SIM cards or one SIM card and a nano memory card. On the right side we have the volume controls and power button that has a red line on it which I really like. At the bottom are the downward firing speakers, USB Type-C port and a headphone jack which the P30 Pro does not have. Under the hood, we get a Kirin 980 chipset coupled with 6GB of RAM or 8GB of RAM like our unit here and 128GB of internal storage. For power, it's packing a 3650mAh battery with support of course for Huawei supercharged technology. But unfortunately, unlike the P30 Pro, the P30 does not support wireless charging, which I think it should have. This is considering that Huawei's flagship competitors support wireless charging across all their models. Now let's talk about what is really up with the Huawei P30. The cameras. As we know, the Huawei P series is where the company pulls out all the stops and almost rewrites the rules of mobile photography. Okay, so up front you get a 32 megapixel selfie camera, while at the back are the real highlights of the phone. Aligned vertically, you get a triple rear camera setup, a 40 megapixel main sensor, 16 megapixel ultra wide sensor, and an 8 megapixel telephoto sensor. So far, we are impressed with the phone's low light capabilities, hybrid zoom, and video stabilization. For selfies, it kinda looks the same as to what you'd get from the Mate 20. Now there are a lot more features to explore for this phone's cameras and a lot more to be said. 
and we'll get to that very soon when we take this thing for a full review. Meanwhile, check out our initial sample shots. Huawei is expected to release the P30 series in the Philippines sometime this April, so there's no official Philippine pricing just yet, but we do have the global MSRP, which, oh boy, is definitely more expensive than its predecessors. The P30 with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage is available for 799 euros or around 47,000 pesos. Alright guys, so that wraps up this video. I'm pretty excited to take this thing for a full review. If you're excited to see that, let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to check out our hands-on of the P30 Pro right here. And if you enjoyed this video, please do drop us a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit ubitech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Joey, this has been the Huawei P30, and I'll see you in the next one.